first thing we're going to do after opening Substance Painter is set up our project. I always like to make sure that I export my model out of uh, a 3D package as an FBX file. So I assign a new material to every mesh that I want to be on a separate map. So we're going to create a new project and select our FBX file. And uh, we'll leave the document resolution at 1K for now. We can always change that later. And in the ma uh, maps, we're going to choose our normal map. Uh, this is something that might surprise you. I don't actually bake my face normal map in any other software other than ZBrush. I feel like the ZBrush normal maps give me the nicest result on the faces. It's not too harsh. And also it doesn't have any problems around the mouth area and the eye area usually. I find that with Substance, for example, when I bake my normal map, I get... Uh, if the mouth is closed, I get artifacts, which can be cleaned quite easily. If you search for it online, you'll find tutorials on how to clean it. But I just don't want to go through that hassle. So now that we create a new project, this is what we get directly at the beginning. Uh, and the first thing you can notice is that the camera is not very flattering. It's He, he looks a bit like a fish. So we're going to change our camera setting and in the field of view, we're going to put, instead of the default 50, we're going to put 15 to make it look a bit more flat. 50 is better for a full body character, but for a head, for a bust, 15 to 20 is much better setting. Another thing is uh, the lighting. So uh, by default, when you open Substance Painter, you get a panorama three panorama uh, environment map, which has color in it. So it's basically a sky with a bit of ground and grass underneath it, which gives the model a lot of blue and yellow tones, which I don't want. I want something a bit more neutral. So I'm going to scroll down and find Tomoko Studio. I used to work with uh, Studio 3 as well a lot, but I find Tomoko Studio is slightly brighter. And it's also very neutral, it's black and white. Has a slight bit of color in it, but not enough to affect my textures. And it also has a nice top-down lighting. Now that we have this uh, out of the way, we can look at the texture settings. So if you look at your texture set list, they, there's basically a list of all the materials that you exported with your FBX file. So as you can see, I have a separate material for the head, for the jewelry that he's wearing, for the horns, and for the eyes. This way I can always hide the materials and make selections easier. So now that we, we are happy with this, we can look at uh, our texture settings. And in the texture slots, I'm going to put my normal map out of ZBrush and bake the rest of the maps based on that normal map. So this is something else that I like to do. I don't usually export the high-res mesh out of uh, ZBrush. I just use my normal map that I created in ZBrush as a base for the other textures. It may be controversial, but it works. I find it works very well and I have no problems with it. I don't change any other settings. I just let Substance use default settings and bake my maps. So now you can see all the other texture maps have been put in the uh, respective slots. And we'll use some of those maps, especially the curvature and the thickness map later on in the texturing process because I find they're very useful and give very nice results. So this is the basic setup, and now we're ready for texturing.